In this lesson, we will use Desmos.com to explore the polar equations of a limousine. And there are four possible limousines. We have a convex limousine, dimpled limousine, cardioid, as well as an inner loop limousine. All the equations are in the form r equals a plus b cosine theta, or r equals a plus b sine theta. We have a convex limousine when the absolute value of a is greater than or equal to two times the absolute value of b, pictured here on the far right. We have a dimpled limousine when the absolute value of a is greater than the absolute value of b and less than two times the absolute value of b. A dimpled limousine is pictured here toward the middle. A cardioid is a special case of a limousine when the absolute value of a equals the absolute value of b, pictured here on the far right. And finally, we have an inner loop limousine when the absolute value of a is less than the absolute value of b, pictured here toward the middle. Let's go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. So it doesn't matter whether we use sine or cosine, let's go ahead and enter r equals a plus b cosine, open parenthesis, for theta from a keyboard, we enter theta, close parenthesis, or we can access a theta from the Desmos keypad by clicking the show keypad button, clicking the ABC button, and theta is on the far right. Notice we also have an option to add sliders for A and B. Let's click all. Notice right now A is one and B is one, and since the absolute value of A is equal to the absolute value of B, we have a cardioid graph on the right. Let's click the wrench in the upper right hand corner, change the grid to polar, and also change to degrees. Close this menu. Let's adjust the window by zooming in. We can also click, hold, and drag to reposition the coordinate plane. And now let's start to explore the different limousons. Let's first set A equal to three and B equal to three. Again, because the absolute value of A is equal to the absolute value of B, we have another cardioid. Let's adjust the window by zooming out. Let's see what happens when the absolute value of A is less than the absolute value of B. So let's drag the A slider to the left. Notice as soon as the absolute value of A is less than the absolute value of B, we have an inner loop limousine. It doesn't matter whether A is positive or negative, as long as the absolute value of A is less than the absolute value of B, we have an inner loop limousine. Let's change A back to positive three. And now let's see what happens when the absolute value of A is between the absolute value of B and two times the absolute value of B. Moving the slider for A to the right, that would be between A equals three and A equals six. So as soon as the absolute value of A is greater than the absolute value of B, and also less than the absolute value of two times B, we have what's called a dimpled limousin pictured here on the right. And it stays dimpled until we reach the A value of positive six, which we see here. Or of course we can move in the negative direction, going to A equals negative three, and then moving to the left, we have a dimpled limousin until A is equal to negative six. Again, these are called dimpled limousins. But as soon as the absolute value of A is greater than or equal to two times the absolute value of B, we have what's called a convex limousine. So if we move A back to positive six, we have a convex limousine as A increases. If we move back to negative six, as we move to the left, again we have a convex limousine. And now let's go back to an inner loop limousine and let's trace out the curve as theta increases from zero to 360 degrees. So let's change A to one and leave B at three. Let's zoom in. And now to trace out this curve from zero to 360 degrees, we will go up to cell one. We first want to change this type of graph by clicking and holding on the red circle on the left. Let's change this graph to dashed and the color to orange. Click outside this menu. Now we want to duplicate this equation by clicking on the gear 
and then clicking the duplicate button in cell one. We are now done with cell one. Let's click in cell two. Let's also close the Desmos keypad. And now we are going to restrict the domain for theta from zero to let's say C and then create a slider for C. To do this, we must use the curly brackets or squiggly brackets, which from the Desmos keypad, if we go to the letter keypad, they're here toward the bottom. Let's go ahead and click the curly brackets. And now we enter zero less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to C. Once we type C, we have the option for a slider. Click C to add a slider. And again, C is going to be the angle theta from zero to 360 degrees. So we need to change the interval for C. Let's click the negative 10, enter zero, tab 360, tab. Let's have the step be five for five degrees. And now for one more thing, we have to go back to cell two and change the type of graph. Click and hold on the orange circle on the left. Let's change the style to solid and the color to purple. Click outside this menu. Close the Desmos keypad again. As we increase the value of C, we can see the inner loop limousine being traced out. Before we go, I'll leave the notes on the screen just in case you want to refer to them. Thank you for watching.